Wait, what? How did it end up from studying innovation management and aspiring to become a tough-ass business consultant working 70 hours a week to suddenly teaching naked yoga and moving my ass to Bali? My mind goes like, what the fuck? Hi, my name is Dika and I'm on a mission to make every woman proud to say I'm a woman and I fucking love it. As a feminine embodiment teacher, facilitator, coach, to be honest, I struggle a bit to give myself the proper label, but what I do know is that I help women reclaim their power back. I help them fully love and accept the body that they're in, and I do this by teaching about all these topics that we kind of feel a little uncomfortable to talk about. So that means I talk about menstruation cycles and periods, I talk about sex, orgasms, our pussy, and I talk about nudity and shame. I grew up in Eindhoven, the Netherlands, so I'm Dutch. Uh, dus ja, ik spreek ook Nederlands. And I grew up quite a happy girl. I passed through high school quite effortlessly, went on to do a gap year in the States, hence the American accent, and then went to do my bachelor's, my master's, had a long-term partner by my side and was living in a cozy city apartment. Basically, I was set up as society would like to call it a successful life. But behind this seemingly perfect life, I hated my menstruation. I shaved my body. I mean, come on, this nose, way too big, right? And I faked orgasms. I was completely disconnected from my intuition and I actually had no clue how my body worked. And to be honest, deep down, I knew and I felt there was something not clicking. But at the time, my mind was saying, no, I'm fine. And so you might now be wondering, how did she end up from that life to teaching naked yoga and moving her ass to Bali? Well, to be honest, that story is a little bit too long to fit into this video, but let me give you a short recap. It started off with yoga, more yoga, getting my body into all these fancy poses, and then luckily enough, and quickly enough, realizing that yoga is about way more than fancy poses. I left off traveling, and from there, I picked up breadcrumb after breadcrumb. I realized that I was taught to hide, to blame, to shame everything that is at the core of being a woman. My menstruation cycle, my intuition, my body's wisdom, and my sexuality. And basically what happened during my travels is that I got an initiation into womanhood. From there, the idea of naked yoga popped into my mind. To be honest, I thought I was absolutely crazy at the time, but I realized that vision. And from there, before I knew it, I was living in Bali. If you wanna listen and hear the whole story, I suggest you go listen to my podcast episode, the first one where I tell you all about it. And otherwise, come follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm most active. Otherwise, check out my website where I share all the information about my courses, the tools that I offer and the workshops that I do to help you beautiful woman remember, to help you remember that you are freaking limitless and magical.